Hey everybody, welcome back to a, another episode of Let's Play on the Factory. This is episode 72. Okay, so last I left off, I believe I was making the superconducting coil. Or maybe I did it off camera and I said I was going to do it off camera. In any case, uh, let's grab this coil block. And we'll get the quest credit. And put, actually we'll keep it for now, you might need it. Ooh, a whole dollar. Nine. Oh, that's the wrong quest. Uh, here we go. So yeah, a whole quarter there. Uh, the eighth coil material, increasing your blast furnace to 9,001. All right, okay. So what next? That opens up the way for fusion reactor. But that's going to require... Mm, quantum, it looks like. And then we need fusion coil, field generator for IV. That's doable. Uh, HPIC. High power IC wafer. Power IC wafer. And uh, I think that won't be too much of an issue. Anyway, um, let's go back out of there for a moment. I want to get over into the crystal circuits, I believe these are. And then wetware is over here. Right, so... We need to get gemstone sensors. Some microminers missions use a gemstone sensor to scout out gems instead of ores. Several materials like exquisite gems can only be obtained from such missions. So we are going to need the exquisite gems for the next part of this quest. If I go back here, you'll see that there is just such a quest for exquisite gems. If I go ahead and look up the gems here, we get them from plenty of missions. Rubies, diamonds, and emeralds can all come from the tier three. Uh, you can get diamonds from the tier ones and the tier three, of course. But uh, yeah. Okay, so let's get this pattern loaded. And I don't think we have everything. I think we still need the optical sensor. And I want to say we need this too. Wait, what was the... Okay, we'll go for a double quantum. I like that. And that's the osmium rod. I think we should, we should have that, but I'll find out if I don't. Oh, okay, so we can make those. Cool. So that's being crafted up. Should be rel relatively quick because the rods and the plates are like the most complicated part of that recipe. And there we go. Gemstone sensor. Complete. Next up, we're going to need... Oh, we're going to need one of each. So, in that regard, let's grab some tier 3 micro miners. We'll do um, 10. So for this, I'm going to need the sensors. Oh, and also the flux. So about 40 flux should do. Flux. And there we go. So what uh, was this small or medium? Okay, small. So I believe it's over here, right? Yep. Okay, there it is. So we'll pop this into the minor here and that is off uh <clears throat> that's uh making the gems now i kind of just planked out there for a second wasn't really sure how to end that sentence anyway uh now we just need to wait for the gems to pop in in the meantime um so next up we'll be making the chips and then the processing unit and I don't know exactly what these need right now. But we'll see in a second. Okay. And there we go. Diamond, ruby, and emerald. There's a quest. These away. Put this back on the board here. Now, we'll go to the engraved circuit. Uh, the engraved crystal chip 
By baking an exquisite emerald and emerald plates with helium in a blast furnace, you can create a engraved crystal chip. Okay, so helium. Right. Okay, so we're going to need another blast furnace set up. But now that I have the superconductor coils, I'll go ahead and put those into the um, setup I have. What room was it? This one. And what CEF? Okay, so LUV. So I'll stay in this room and I will grab. Where is it? Two of these. Shouldn't take too long to make, I don't think, but. Ah, uh, aluminum plates, of course. Those take a bit longer to craft than most other plates. Uh, well, that's making. We have the controller. We need some heat proof casings here. Probably just a few extra, just in case. Uh, bus. Bus, bus, bus. Input. Input. And output. I'm going to change that to stored. There's that. And. Uh, did, uh, out, no, not the output. You know, the input hatch, the output bus, and the input bus. And that should be that. So that will go there. Put the hatches there. And um, while I'm here doing this, let me just break these off so that we can replace these with the superconductor coil. Not necessarily needed, but why not? I guess um, I am making a lot of draconium right now, so we'll have plenty more where that all came from. All right, so that's that. Boom, boom. And there we go. Okay, now for the rest of this. So the input hatch will go here. Input bus, I think, is in the front. Yeah, it's in the front. Output the back. Bada boom. Okay, so you're going to need helium and a fluid interface. There's that. And he, oops, helium. Cable. Oh, there we go. Is that going in? Yep, okay, it's going, wait. Okay, there it is. All right then. Uh, I think for now, I'll just do this. Wait, let me just see something. Crystal engraved. So that's helium in a blast furnace, right? Blast furnace. Hmm. Okay, I guess it doesn't really matter. I will just make the blast furnace dedicated craft for uh, the engraved chips. Uh, actually, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. I was gonna say if the craft time is super long, then maybe I just should I should do a passive craft, but it's not a big deal. Okay, so that's set up there. And now, come over here to our pattern terminal and set up, oops, set up the emerald plate and exquisite emeralds. Oh, that's all vine. Em emerald, yep, okay. Now, do I have emerald plates on craft? Yeah, I do, okay. I was confused, I suppose. I thought I was remembering that emerald plates weren't auto crafted. I might be thinking of uranium. Anyway, uh, let's get that. 
There we go. But that crapped it up. Is that is it going? I wonder. No, it won't be because it's out of power. I don't think. Yeah, that might help if I get that power. Okay, uh, I need to knock down some walls here. And then boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oop. Get rid of that. Okay. Now that should be done, I think. Yeah, how about that? That was pretty quick. So there we go. Engraved chips. Now, next up, the crystal CPU. Crystal CPUs are the cores of crystal circuits. You'll need an IV precision laser engraver to craft these. I see. Okay, so we are going to need another engraver. Wait, do I even have an existing engraver? Let me see something. Green lens. Norway fur, Norway fur. Okay, I don't think I have. Okay, I don't think I have a laser engraver dedicated for green lenses, so I'll just get one crafted up. Uh, can I make a green lens in the meantime? Uh, I guess I already had one saved, so awesome. Okay, that's done. Now we're going on an interface. And we'll call this the crystal CPU IV crystal CPU. Okay. Now I think that's everything we need. Yeah. So let's see where I think I can put this over. Here. Oops. Put this in this room. I think this is new, but I don't remember when I put this up. Nonetheless, um, yeah. So import allow. On the output side, and then, oops, fingers are all over the place today. That goes in there, and auto output. Okay, so that should be good. Oops, um, get rid of that. And pop that into the interface. Crystal. There we go. Any second now. Should be crafting. There's one. Oops, I missed. Uh, boom. There we go. Crystal processing unit. Awesome. All right. That's out of the way. Ne oh. Oh, I guess we need to make this first. Okay, so with your lumium based machine holes, assembly machine built, and quantum processor mainframes squared away, you can finally get on the path to making a ludicrous voltage assembly machine. This tier of assembly machine unlocks crystal circuits as well as handling crafting recipes up to 32,000 AU a tick. It can also optionally overclock recipes up to 8192 for improved speed at the cost of relatively more power. Okay. So, robot arms, ew. Did I get that crafted yet? Okay, I believe that is. Let me do this and just see what isn't crafted. So, I'm gonna want the mainframes, long terminal, boom, boom. Let's see if we can make this right away. I don't think. No, okay, we don't have everything yet. Conveyor modules. Okay. So the uh, module is going to be a for five recipe. Ooh. All right. So I'm going to need to make styrene butadiene rubber. It's like a loud noise outside my apartment. I just 
I think people are moving in or something. Anyway, um, all right, so yttrium, we should have that, but we need styrene butadine, right? So that is going to be. Ross, the, the, the dust, butadine, styrene, and air. Butadine. Oh. Oh. I don't have either of those things. Butadine. Let's see here. Butadine, styrene. Styrene is benzene and ethylene. And butadine is... Naphtha looks like is what we're going to want to do. Butadine. Styrene. Uh, let's see, styrene is basically, yeah, from benzene and ethylene. We should have both of these. Okay, so let's get this going then. So benzene and ethylene. I don't think I have a bucket yet. No, I don't. Okay. I'm going to need a bucket. B-E-N. Benzene. And how are we on ethylene? Pretty good. So ethylene bucket reactor. Let's see a uh, pump. Uh controller emitter. I want that uh bucket. Okay. So let's get this set up. Alright, so pump on this side will take Oh, I need interfaces. Interfaces. Where's the terminal? Interface. Nine, ten. I think should be good. Back to our reactor. We'll put the face on. Ethylene, benzene, cable. Okay, that's pretty quick. So, styrene. All right, that output. All right, now, let's see. Uh, hmm. Okay, so now for the controller side, then rotate it back. Emitter. Uh, there it is, styrene. We'll say 64 buckets. And for the cable. Okay, so that's going to stop there. Now, we need the benzene, right? Oxygen, styrene, and but oh, butadine. So butadine is going to be the steam cracked. Uh, naphtha, right? Nap. Naphtha, okay. So steam cracked nap. That is going to require a chemical reactor with, what do you know? Steam. I don't think we have steam on tap, do we? And no. So heater. I don't have a heater for IV. Hmm. Okay. Let's get that fixed then, shall we? So that's going to be a double circuit. Put that away. Grab that. And bada boom. Okay. So get this made up. And we'll probably put it right under the reactor. Put that away. Put that away. So, right, um, 
Water should be in good supply, I believe. No, not really at all, actually. Hum, um, I need to figure out something. In any case, we'll get this set up. So output, then reactor. Uh, pump, 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 pump. I now that I think about it, I think I may have turned off my water supply, but I'll have to see what I did. Um, okay. No, okay, that's being pumped. Uh, this might be a good time to get into aqueous accumulators. Let's see, aqueous accumulator. So we have the means to make thermal expansion machines. So let's see how likely it is that we can make this. I don't remember every. I don't remember if I have every component auto crafted. Okay, I need the redstone servo, which isn't that involved, so that's good. Okay, aqueous accumulator, go. So once that makes, we should be able to use this without much issue. Oh, nice, I got the quest credit. Let's go ahead and look at that quest in case there's anything useful to talk about. So the Arcus accumulators in Ogden Factory are infinite water sources. They do not require any water blocks nearby. Uh, this machine can only produce, or this machine can produce water as fast as you can extract it. Only downside being that it makes some annoying noises. <laughs> I, like, I like that friendship with endivores ended. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Um, put it here, I think. Okay, cool. And given that it's making noise, let's get out our bobble here. Oh shit, um, all right. Add recent. Um, what the hell? Is it not going to let me mute this thing? Thermal expansion device water gen. Um, what the hell? Can I not mute this at all? Okay, this is going to be pretty annoying, pretty quick. So I'm going to have to put this somewhere where I don't hear it. I do not want to hear that at all. Uh, I think this shit interface should be fine. So let's see. Let's go put this. I don't know. Here's good, I guess. Is that going to output? I don't know if it's outputting. Doesn't look like it. Maybe it is. Okay. Let me try something. Okay, it is outputting. Okay, so it's just eating water super fast. Okay, uh, enough goofing around here. Let me try and speed things along here. 
So that's the heater, right? Yeah, so we'll put the water in there. And then we're gonna need a circuit. A circuit, circuit, circuit. Wait, go back. Hey, there we go. So we'll put this circuit ah, inside the heater, inside the heater. I need to increment that. There we go. Steam is going up. Now for the steam, we also need the naphtha. So we'll grab or put a pump there. Import. Let's see, nap. And likely like last time, I'm going to want to limit this. So rotate and emitter and emitter. And then interface. Where's my interfaces? Boop, 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 boop. Uh, I don't have any. What? I guess I put them away. Weird enough. Back to over here, put that in. Uh, naphtha. Oh, I need to attach the cable. Cable. Okay, now it should be getting it any second. Okay, uh, I do need a bucket. Bucket. Hi. Grab that. Turn that to 64 buckets. And emit and levels are above. Yeah, okay, so that should be good to go. So once I set this up, I'm gonna spill it out into the system and we'll have a supply. There we go. It is stopped. There, there we go. So now it's stopped. Okay, so now we have the steam cracked naphtha. Uh, right. So with that in mind, oh, the steam cracked naphtha. Now we need to distill it. We're gonna need a nine, eleven tall tower. Oh boy. So let me go ahead and get this stuff off camera, and I will be back when I am ready and assembling the tower and we'll call it an episode from there okay see you shortly okie doke i am back now so as you can see i've got this little big boy tower it's a big one for sure um yeah so i'm gonna have to dig up let's see can i there we go you dig up all the way because i need to reach the top here okay so now that i've reached the top now i'm just going to come down here and wrench all of these outputs so that i can just pop my interfaces like so so the with the distillation tower it always needs a item output bus see uh output bus and then output hatch for each of the fluids so we have 11 hatches and one item bus so let's get this all popped on to our tower here. There we go. So cable, crap. There we go. And bada boom. Oh, uh, bada boom. Uh. I think that will be prettier. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so I'll cover that for now and I'll fix this later. Uh, well, I'll just do this real quick. Do -do Boom, okay. So yeah, that is now set up. Uh, so also we have the input hatch down here. So, oops, not that. Input hatch here. And we need cable on round. 
And now we just need nap. So fair no. Steam craft naphtha. And from this, we will get all sorts of uh stuff here. Like toluene, light fuel, heavy fuel, but butene, butadine, which we need. Uh and yeah. Kind of a whole smorgasbord of fluid. And honestly, I could probably just done a single distillery block for this stuff, but it doesn't hurt to have some extra fluids. So that's what I did. Why is it? Okay, so it's going so fast that it, it doesn't show properly. Let's get up to, oh shoot, we are at the end of the episode here. So let me just double check that we have the fluids. Yes, okay, it is generating. Cool. So in the next episode, I will continue on with the butadine styrene rubber production. And we will go from there. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like or comment down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.